going to give you a quick thing on PowerPoint versus whiteboards. People like whiteboards because it means you can take suggestions from the audience. If you have students, you can ha you write down what they think. If you're in a meeting, you can have everyone contribute and write it down. Problems with whiteboards are any notes that you type on there, you have to retype it on your computers. You can't use it for Skype or online meetings. People can't read your handwriting. Other reasons like people don't write in straight lines. There are lots of reasons why whiteboards are not very 2016. But you need it to write suggestions live, correct? Wrong. On PowerPoint, this is in slideshow mode in PowerPoint, I can type anything I like, like that. What did we learn last week? Or a discussion point slide. I propose the green theme. Okay, me too. 60% say yes. Let's fire our HR guy. Let's agree to give him more training instead. Lots of different things you can do with it. Pros and cons. This way is right. Loads of uses for this application. Now, how do we do it? Let me um, put in a new slide, and now I'm going to go into my developer tab. And you might need to activate this as a one-time only thing if you can't see it. Links of how to do that under the video. Draw this AB box however you want. And I go Shift F5 for slideshow mode. And you can type now. That's it. The only problem with these kind of boxes is that um, you have to customize them before they're a little bit more useful. To do that, you right click, choose property sheet, change font to say Calibri or whatever your presentation is, 28. That should normally be the minimum font size you use in your presentation. And the other thing you need to do in properties is change where it says multi-line to say true and that means you can write on more than one line. I agree this isn't the best user interface that Microsoft could have but if I go to it now as I type I press control enter for next line and I can type as I want. If you want to get more of these objects, click the object, choose Home tab, duplicate, and then move it however you want. And then if you press duplicate again, it will move the same distance under the first one. So that is how you can create boxes that you can type in during the presentation. And that is really good. If you want more flexibility, Try this wonderful free Microsoft app, which you probably have, called OneNote. Because here you can type anywhere and move boxes as you please. So I can move this one under here, move this one under here. I can also type shapes and lines and whatever I want. But that is how you can write in a PowerPoint slideshow, which is really, really useful. And I use it for my presentations virtually every time I talk.